Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. In this AI and Linux Ubuntu tutorial, we explain how to install and run locally LM Studio on a Linux Ubuntu computer. Since a lot of viewers of this channel are completely new to machine learning and AI, let's first explain what is LM Studio. LM Studio is maybe the easiest approach for running large language models as well as multimodal models on local computers. For example, here is the graphics user interface of LM Studio and over here I'm running DeepSeek. Here you can use this chat window to ask questions, for example, how to solve a quadratic equation. And let's put something like this and let's see the response. Let's click on send and let's see what happens here. Let's see. And you can see immediately the response over here. A nice thing about LM Studio is that it can represent equations nicely. That is, it has a nice latex interpreter and latex render that enables it to nicely write equations. The installation of LM Studio on a Windows computer is straightforward. You just download the file and you run the executable and the program will be installed. However, the installation of LM Studio on a Linux Ubuntu computer is more complex. We would need to perform several steps in order to properly install LM Studio. So let's immediately start. Okay, let's immediately start. First of all, open Google and search LM Studio Linux download and let's find the download file click here then let's click over here on this first link and you will see here what we want to do so here make sure that Linux is selected that this option is selected and this is the newest version so let's click here to download the file save the file in the downloads folder and be patient I think the whole file will be around one gigabyte and it might take even several minutes or one minute to download it. Go to the downloads folder and find the file and make sure that the file is downloaded. Here it is. Next, let's create a new folder that will be used for installation. To do that, simply go to home. Then I'm going to click here. Then I will do right click, create a new folder and call the folder LM studio and press enter here is the folder next let's copy the downloaded file to this folder to do that let's go back to downloads let's simply do the right click and let's do cut such that we move it at the same time let's go to home and let's go here and let's paste the file here it is beautiful the next step is to open a terminal so click here and search for terminal here I'm going to resize this terminal window such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time you can see the commands over here. First of all let's go to the home folder then let's navigate to the LM Studio and over here let's type this command and here's the file. However, there are several issues. First of all we cannot execute this file and in addition we don't have the permissions. Consequently, we need to set the permissions. To do that, you need to type chmod plus, or actually u plus x, and then you simply need to type lm, and then press tab to autocomplete, and press enter. And then if you type this again, you will see that the file is green over here, and you can see the permissions over here. Good. The next step is to execute this file and to extract the app image to do that simply type this press tab and then type this app image and then dash extract and press enter and magic will happen now let's now wait and let's see what happens okay next navigate to this new folder you'll see it over here so let's type cd squash fs root and let's see over here what happens now if you list all the files you will see this executable file 
and this is the file that we need to run however before we run this file we need to type this command then enter your password and then after this command let's set the permissions to chrome sandbox file and that's it we are all set now we can simply run this file by simply typing something like this and bang let's see what happens wait for a while and LMU studio should start okay so wait for a while here it is beautiful here it is amazing you might not immediately see the screen since i think some old old basically uh, settings are being loaded since i installed and uninstalled it however you will simply see the welcome screen and then you can click over somewhere over here skip onboarding process and you will see this default screen good the issue with starting LM Studio like this is that you will always have to navigate to the particular folder, namely to this folder over here, and then you need to run the executable. And this might be tiring and boring for some users. Instead, you would like to simply click here, then search for LM Studio, and LM Studio should actually after typing lm studio you should see the icon and you will just need to click on the icon lm studio should start so let's enable that let that is let's create a desktop okay so to do that simply go over here navigate to this folder namely enter your address which should be your username and instead of this you can simply type something like this right this might be easier and more general now inside of this folder we need to create a file called lmstudio.desktop and to do that we simply need to execute this oops I'm here and inside of this file we need to type something and that something looks like this let me now copy it to save this okay here it is so let's see what's happening over here. First of all, we are creating a desktop entry. We are specifying the name of application. Then we are saying that this is application. And here's, here comes the very important part. Here you need to specify the path to the executable. The executable is over here. So let's, let me show you how to find that path. Now, if I go back to the home folder, and let me now navigate to the LM Studio. Then if you remember, we went to the squash FS root. Now here you need to type PWD and you will see this path over here. That's the path to, to your executable. And then you need to specify over here the name of the executable. And then finally, you need to put some cute PNG file, which serves as a graphical representation of this program and how to find that file well over here if you type ls-la you will see this png file so where it is let me see here it is okay so this is the png icon file of lm studio that's it simply save this file by pressing ctrl o press enter ctrl x to exit and now magic happens if you now let me close this. If you now click here and if you search LM Studio or wait, wait a second, something needs to be done more. Let me just make sure that this is the correct file and that no, here I made an error, right? So the path looks like this, right? So this is from the older version. Let me now verify that the path is correct. If I type PWD, right, here is the path. It's actually LM Studio, not lm studio so save this by pressing ctrl o and press ctrl x to exit and now we are out now we can click simply click here and search for lm studio and then you can click here and bang lm studio will start that's it simple as that next let's briefly go over how to install different lm large language models there are several ways to do that. You can do it manually or you can simply click here and search for models or actually search over here and let's search for DeepSeek. Let's go with this DeepSeek version 
then let's now simply click on download and the download process will start. It's going to take maybe several minutes to download the file. After some time, you will see this pop-up menu and this means that the, that the model is downloaded. Close this, close this, close this, and now you can go over here in the chat and then click here, click here to load the model, wait for a while, and then let's ask a question, who are you? And, and let's see what happens. Here it is, model works, perfect. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.